Hello everyone, welcome back to Maths with Hero. In uh, today's video, it's a continuing video from the last question that we were going over. It's a solving the following equation question. Uh, this is a high school question and uh, this is actually from uh, British curriculum, but it's from one of my Italian students, but I felt like I should also write it in the Italian and the English form so it can help uh, various students at the same time. So as I said, it's a British curriculum question and in the previous video we solved part A and now we are moving on to part B of the same question. So let's go over and continue. So let me take a part of this question from here so we can with the next part okay here we go here's what we have so if you can see we have uh, two sides in the the synthesis and equation so we have two sides and two both of the sides have the variable x and when we have a question like this, this means that we need to find out the value of the variable, where in this case the variable is x. So if you look over here, this is actually an equation. I'm going to write it down uh, separately. x cubed minus 2x squared. plus x so if you see we can possibly you know take x out as common from here so if we take x as common it would become x squared minus 2x plus 1 which if you see is actually turning out to be a formula and uh, if you remember this is the formula that we uh, have the basic algebra formula which is a minus b whole square so this can also be written as x into x minus 1 whole square right so this was the denominator that we had on the left hand side we can write it down as left hand side so if we see the left hand side is one out of x cubed minus 2x squared plus x plus 4 out of 1 minus x. Now if you see instead of this we can also write it down as this and c1 out of x into x minus 1 whole square and this is 4 out of 1 minus x now it would get easier if we would have the same denominator here and then we take the LCM. So instead of keeping at this as 1 minus x, you know what we can do? We can multiply. It's with minus 1. When we would do that, it would become... 1 out of x into 
x minus 1 whole square minus 4 out of x minus 1. Right? Now, do you understand that why I am writing it in this form? Why I did it this way? That because now it would be easier for us to find out the LCM because both of the denominators have x minus 1 in the bottom. Now, we can easily take the LCM, you know. Now, in this step, as you can see, this is an LCM situation. We have two different fractions. So what are we supposed to do? We are going to take an LCM of this fraction. So uh, this x minus 1 would go on the top. And since there is already a 1, x minus 1 there, so uh, we won't have this. So we would just have 1 minus 4. And since an x minus 1, we need a square. So this x should also be multiplied with 4, so it will become x minus 1 whole square. And in the denominator, we would have x minus 1 whole square and 2x. So this is all what we are, our left hand side is going to be. Now, as you remember, this is an equation, and we also have, we were working on the left-hand side. Now, we are moving on to the right-hand side. So, let's write down the right-hand side with it. So, it's minus 8 out of x. So, our next step is going to be, our next step is going to be, we have to, uh, move this x to the other side. So this x and x minus 1 whole square to the other side. So this is what we would get. And uh, this won't be a square. This would just be an x because there is already an x there. We can also distribute this 4x uh, at the same time. So it would become minus 4x squared plus 4x and here it's going to be minus 8 x and x in the denominator would cancel out Now you see this x and this x would cancel out. If you see on this side, there is x minus 1 whole square, which we can also turn. This is actually an algebraic formula, which if we work it out, this is what it turns out to be. Now our next step is we are going to distribute this 8 to this bracket. Eight times two is sixteen, so it would be sixteen x minus eight plus one is minus eight. So this is what we have. Now moving on from here, we would uh, distribute. Uh, we would uh, move the like terms together. So this eight, when we take it to the other side, it would become eight x squared. minus 4x squared plus 4x 
minus 16x. plus 1, plus 8. All of it's equal to 0 because nothing is left under the side. Everything was there. 8 minus 4 is 4. 4 minus 16 is minus 4. 8 plus 1 is 9, so it's plus 9 equals to 0. Now, if you see this has turned into a quadratic equation, you have two ways you can solve it up, either by factorization or you can use a quadratic formula. So, you know, what's a quadratic formula? It's minus b plus minus root b squared minus 4ac out of 2a. So this is A, this is B, and this is C. And what you got to do, just put down all the values in this formula, and uh, you will get the value of X according to that. In this video, I'm going to do the factorization method instead of using the quadratic formula. So what is factorization? You know, you would times this 4 with 9, so that is 36. This means that we need to look at the factors of 36. So, what, uh, which two factors we can think of uh, 36? Twelve and three? But, uh, that is also not, this is not a factorizable equation. So this is the reason why I uh, wanted to see what would be your response to that. So we would put in the formulas. So it would become what, 12 plus minus 12 squared minus 4 into 4, 9. And in the bottom, we have 2 times 4. So it would be 12 plus minus. 12 square is 144. 4 times 9 is 36, and uh, 36 minus 4. This is what we have to check now. This 144. So you will see this is so easy. This all of it turned out to be 0. So we don't have to work too much from here onwards. So we just end up with 12 out of 8, you know, which can be simplified by dividing both of them. You know, they are both divisible by 2. 6 and 4. 3 out of 2. So we finally got our answer, which is x is equal to 3 out of 2. Make sure you highlight your question or you just, you know, provide it uh, openly to your teacher so it's easier for them to identify your solution in your exams. So I wish you all the best. I hope you understood how to solve out the value of x. This was our, another question from this series where we are doing questions related to solving the equation. And uh, this question is actually beneficial for high school students and uh, also um, okay, it's uh, very much similar to American and the British curriculum. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.